Hello everyone, welcome back and happy spring. It's a bright sunny day today, everything's starting to bloom. It is such a nice change of scenery after such a dreary winter. Hopefully you guys are feeling happy too, I know that I did some spring cleaning and all that. Enjoy my spring break, but you didn't come here to chit chat, did you? I'm Chase Saraba and this is episode 3 of Tutorial Tuesday. Our first episode in about two months. I apologize for the absence, but we are back now. We are going to be making content every week. So, without any further ado, let's roll the intro. Today we are going to talk how to create fire or flames in Photoshop. This is one of the first things that I learned when I started out with Photoshop. It's super easy to do, you do not have to be an expert at Photoshop, you don't even have to really know much about Photoshop to be able to create fire or flames. It's super easy. I first learned how to do this a few years ago and I thought I would bestow my knowledge upon you today. So let's go ahead and hop into the PC back here and open up Adobe Photoshop. See you there. I am now on my Windows 10 PC and I have opened Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. I'm going to come over here and create a new image. We're just going to use an art file. Size doesn't really matter. It's just whatever you want to do with this. I'm going to go with this one right here just for the purposes of this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and create. Now to make this a little easier to see, I'm going to come over here to the paint bucket and I'm just going to, let's do like a gray, I'm just going to make this a little darker so you can see the flames better. If you're using a photo or whatever, that can just be your background, whatever you want to use the flames on. I'm just going to make the flames, I don't have anything that I'm using flames for right now, so I'm just going to start with this gray background. I'm going to go ahead and then create a new layer over here. Now I'm going to come over here to the pen tool. If you don't see the pen tool where this is, right click and select pen tool instead of one of these. Make sure that up here it is on path instead of shape, otherwise you will not be able to create flames. So go ahead and click create your first anchor point. Now before you make your second one, come down to about where you want your curve to be, because I'm going to do a curved one. You can do whatever shape you want, but if you're trying to follow along, we're going to make a nice curve. So about here, hold down as you make it, do not let go, and now slowly drag your mouse down while you're still holding, and you'll notice that's going to make this nice curve. I'm going to come over here, just click, it's going to automatically continue that sort of curvature. Now I'm going to go ahead and come back up this side to make this an enclosed shape because you want that if you're going to make a single flame. So about here to there. And now I'm just going to go ahead and finish it off. So we've got this shape here. Mine's not perfect because I've never been that good with curving the pen tool. But we're going to go up here to where it says filter. Go down to render and select flame. So yours will probably look like one flame like this or something similar to that. So you can use these to change how it looks. With the width of it, you can make it larger. You can even come to your advanced settings and you can change like the turbulence of it or the jaggedness of it. The complexity of the flame lines. And you can see how interesting your fire, your flame can become. So you can do all sorts of stuff, you know, violent, flat, kind of like the way that one looks. And then you can choose the different ways that it spreads. Or you can select randomize. So however you want your flames to look, there's so many options here. And then as you saw here, you can also create multiple flames along the path, different directions, or you can do like a candlelight flame. I'm just going to leave it as one flame along path for this. When you have it how you like it, 
Oh, and before we move on, you can also use a custom color, which I use a lot. So, say that you wanted blue, you can do blue flames. Or a nice green flame. Let's keep it on green like that. Depending on your machine, you may not want to go up to fine quality. I know that mine can handle it, so I'm going to do a very fine flame. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and it's going to render that for me. It might take a moment, depending on your machine and the power. So now, since we have it in a shape, we can actually drag the fire. So that's how you make a single flame in Photoshop. It's super easy to do, and you can draw whatever shape you want and choose whatever style of flame you want. As you saw, there were a ton of options. I think it's really cool. Now I'm going to show you something a little different. So I went ahead and created a new file to show you how to do a different type of flame. Once again, I'm just going to create a new layer. Go back to the pen tool. This time, however, instead of making a shape with it, I'm just going to draw a wavy line like so. Now with this path, I'm going to go once again up to Filter, Render, Flame. I'm going to go down to Multiple Flames, Path Directed. And now, I'm going to make them larger. This will take a moment on mine because I have it on fine. Let's go ahead and return it to more of a natural fire color. Actually, we'll just turn off custom color. So now you can just mess with these a little bit, and as you can see, it's creating a whole trail of fire, which I think is cooler than the single flame, personally. This is actually how I first learned how to do fire and flames, is I first learned how to do it like this, and then I discovered later that you could do the single flame, because this is what I actually had practice with. Let's do a little bit less angle on that, although that would be cool for like a wind blowing the fire type of effect. And then of course you can go to advanced and you know, we'll add some more jaggedness and maybe some more turbulence to it. I'm going to change it from violent to normal. So, I think that's alright for the, these purposes. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and it will render those flames along this path that you see here. Sorry for that gap there that you saw in editing. My Photoshop chose the perfect time to freeze on me. But now that I'm back, here you can see it just created this nice trail of flames. I didn't quite make the artboard large enough. So that's how you make a single flame in Photoshop, and also how you make a fire effect in a line with multiple flames. I just recommend that if you're interested in using fire and flames, just mess around with it. Try a few different shapes. I didn't have a whole lot of time making this video to try a whole bunch of different things because I figured that you guys would get the point that, you know, just choosing those different options in that dialogue when you render the flames, you can do all sorts of different looking things. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Tutorial Tuesday. If this tutorial helped you, and I hope it did, give this video a good thumbs up, give it a like, be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and leave a comment down below that you watched this video, and if it helped you or not. And as always, since this is only the third episode, I am looking for feedback, so if you have any criticisms of the tutorials I'm giving, please leave those down below too. As always, I'm Chase Saraba, and this has been an episode of Tutorial Tuesday. See you next week.